I think over the years I've developed the approach of listening. I think that's probably the biggest part of being a pediatric cardiologist, like the concerns of families. Um, looking for information that's needed to make a diagnosis and treatment plan, not overdoing it. I think you can really overdo it sometimes in my, my specialty. There's a lot of tests that don't need to be run. Um, and um, I think trying to kind of guide families through a, a somewhat difficult process uh, when they deal with a child with a congenital heart defect. You know, you do have two different sets of patients, really. You have the patient themselves who sometimes cannot speak because they're so little, uh, and then you have their family, their parents, who are um, need attention and need their concerns met and, and addressed and dealt with. Um, and so I think one thing that I probably do pretty well over the years is actually speak to the children, I at least trying to incorporate them into the discussion. But I think in pediatrics, we don't want to forget our patient is the little one, not, not necessarily the parents right up front.